and you hope the next guy yeah, you know, we had a, we almost had a little team out there of injured guys for the last couple of weeks, and uh, you know, we've done nothing but try and pick each other up out there, and uh, we've pushed it pretty hard. And uh, I mean, I think talking to Brooksy today, he said he felt pretty good, and uh, same with Comrie and Asham. So, you know, we've definitely worked hard the last few weeks, and it's uh, it's paid off for us. How do you feel about the whole hits to the head, safety of the players issue that's been so big around the NHL? I mean, yours was obviously not in the course of just a, a hockey play; that was a an illegal hit, vicious hit. But how yeah. do you feel? You know, I, th I think uh, you know all I can do is sit back and you know watch what the NHL is doing, and they're uh, you know taking a positive, positive step in the right direction. And uh, you know that's that's all I can really say about the topic. The incident that, that it happened against the Islanders with, with Gillies, I mean, that was kind of looked on around the league, kind of as a joke, just just what he did to the. How do you, how do you view that whole? Situation. Have you been able to go back and watch it? And how do you view it now? Yeah, I mean, I watched it. Hockey's a very emotional game, and I think uh, you know, emotions got the best of both teams. And you know, sometimes things happen like that. And uh, you know, obviously, I'd never want it to happen again. But I've I've, I've actually learned from the experience, and uh, I'm looking forward to you know taking a positive step in the right direction with my career. Any hesitations getting back out there? You think you know one one more shot could do it again? And knowing what you've gone through now, uh, you know, thinking like that, it will happen again. So you know, I'm just gonna. You know, if I do get the opportunity to play my game, and I'm really looking forward to getting that first bang in whenever that chance comes. Do you trust that it's, just, it's not going to be a, a, a common thing that some guy's going to come up and, and, and just really an illegal blow like that to really, you know, blind side, elbow to the head? You don't see that much. That's not something you have to worry about a lot from the back end. Uh, yeah, it's not not something you look for when you're out there playing. But uh, you know, from because of what happened, I'll always you know have my head on a swivel, embrace myself, and uh, you know that's all you can really do in that situation is learn from it. It happened. It's done with. Um, I'm thankful to be healthy and, and strong right now, and uh, just trying to build from it. How tough is it when you see a teammate do that same kind of thing and, and see him have to face the repercussions? How tough is that to, to, to deal with that with a guy on your own team trying to get that out of the game? Yeah, I mean, uh, things happen. Like I said, it's an emotional game, and uh, you know, whether it's another team or your own team, it's it's definitely a tough thing to watch. And uh, you know, I don't really have much else to say about what happened. For people that have never had concussions and don't know anything about the symptoms, and if you relate it to Sid, it, it, did the symptoms just go away, or is it a is it a gradual thing for you to get back out there? The thing with a concussion is everybody's different. Uh, you know, some guys need to rest longer than others, and some guys' concussions are worse than others. So, you know, it's hard to put a, a timetable on how, how long you're out and how long you need to be rested. It's, you know, everybody's body's different. And thankfully, you know, mine, you know, was, was not as severe as Sid's was, and I was able to, you know, get back in, in a sooner time.